All right, this is Calibos, and we're playing Enigmatica 2. So, let us do quest things, uh, as in claiming quests. So, look, cobblestone. Go us. So, we have done all of these things. We now have heavy water. Should we care? Uh, so, let's look at... Oh, we I have that one too. I mean, we have like a million of these things actually. So I had the uh, I had the clocks in my inventory because I was trying to see if I could trick all of the uh, the quantum rings into not failing every time I start the world up, but it didn't work. So, yeah, not sure how to fix that. Uh, and I forgot what we were looking for. Rotary con condensature. Rotary. Look, we have one. Does it detect it? And the answer is no, because it, it does not like us. All right. So now, let us see what this quest is. Chemical infuser. More chemical infusers. So here's one. Let's build a second one. Looks like we're going to need two of these. One, two. A dynamic tank. Chemical infuser. Go. We now have both of these. And it fails to detect them, of course. So let's claim this one. Oops. All right, so let's claim this one. Uh, how about this one. This one seems fun. Lasers and laser amplifiers. So this actually has to do with making a fusion reactor. And uh, I've never made one with mechanism. I generally uh, I just haven't. I don't know. seem too challenging. I think it wants five of them, though. So let's, uh, one, it's two, three, four, five. So that's five of those. Now we want a laser amplifier, I think. Yeah, one laser amplifier. which is going to require another casing and two energy tablets that throws down for an energy cube and that is a laser amplifier so that is that quest complete and it doesn't like that either so yeah let's let's force that one through and move on quests quests Designer con there. All right, so let's grab our quest, which is going to give us a couple more of these. Fusion reactor. Uh, minimum generation of 200,000 RF a tick. Looks like it's a multi-block. This is probably what the lasers are for. So the bigger it is,
Okay. Well, even at a minimum of 200,000 RF a tick, we're still producing more than enough power for us. <clears throat> so I'm not super concerned about it, but we are going to make all the parts. Reactor frame. So let's look at steel casings really quick. Steel casing. Now I can just have it make a hundred of them. Because it looks like we're gonna we're gonna need a few. So we're gonna need 81 reactor frames, three reactor ports, one reactor controller, and a laser focus matrix. So we're going to need 81 of these. Okay, so let's chuck these in here. Chuck that in there. Do that. Do that. Heavy water. So we're pretty much going to need a bunch of craftings of this. Uh, so that would be 84. All right, so now we need a reactor controller. Just gonna need a basic gas tank. Then we're going to need uh, already forgotten. Reactor controller, three reactor ports, and a laser focus vector port. Because naturally, it will make an odd amount of them, and a laser focus matrix. Reactor glass, you can do that that. <coughs> so, hmm. at this point we just need some more reactor frames and we're good. And we're good. Oh my god, it even took the quest. I, I'm not sure what to think about that. Okay, so new quest, no description. Well, I declare that one completed. The hall room? So we need to make one of these. Spell that H O H L R A U M H O H. All right. So we just need to put uh, gold powder into a metallurgic infuser. So gold powder uh, into a metallurgic infuser done with coal. So this one is diamond, obsidian, carbon. That's it. So let's pop one through there. Is it not? Uh... Oh, it, it actually does require four not splitting. So that gives us the whole room. Um, and that should be this quest, which you know apparently it doesn't like again. So we will that's that. Now for the last quest in mechanism is one more reactor port. Reactor port. Uh, 
All right, that should be that. Congratulations, guys. We just defeated Mechanism. At least th these quests for it. So now... Oh my gosh, Thomcraft. This is going to get significantly less fun. Uh oh. So let's go. Hold on. Thumbcraft. Well, at least we have a couple of these crystals. Let's see, where are we getting these? Block drops. Okay. So we're not actually getting them from the miner. That's good to know. Wasn't there a Thalmcraft book? basically where I've decided to do most of my uh, my magical things just for thematic purposes I guess huh that's just levitating there that's cool so I am astonished that we don't have I have no idea what those are for So let's look at the Thaumonomicon. I'm sure that there's a way to do it. And in order to do that, we probably need to find... Uh, what's it called? Uh, this. We need to make this. 3v crystals of different types combine them with redstones and then by crafting them with a flint and a bowl so one two three let's get some redstone let's get some flint And the bowl. bowl. And that should give us this. Which apparently gives us our flip back, so that's pretty cool. And now what about a bookshelf? So uh, when you first do Thalmcraft, it gives you a... Um, Let's see if we can find it in here. A book. Um, <clears throat> I'm not sure exactly what happens to mine. Uh, but if you handle any of the Thalmcraft crystals, it's like you have a weird tingly sensation uh, in your fingertips. Uh, and then perhaps you should dream about it and then the next time that you sleep you find a book in your inventory and it basically walks you through this boom thumbcraft all right 
so now we have the Thumbcraft book. Um, so I have been watching other people mess with the Thomcraft stuff, and it has been super not happy for them. So just so you know, some of it is definitely going to be my incompetence, and some of it is going to be that, you know, maybe Thomcraft is not doing what it should be doing. So we're going to look in the Thomcraft book. Ta-da! Research completed, whatever that means. Um, it says, study the magical world. I guess I could read the entire thing, but I don't know if you guys care about that. So I'll read it this once, and then we'll see what everybody says. Who would have thought that a few sprinkles of dust could have created this marvelous book? It is mostly blank, but it hints at a powerful new form of magic, thaumaturgy. Firstly, I will need to study the magical world that has been shown to me. For that, I will need a tool. A thaumameter, the book calls it. A normal crafting table won't do, however, since the magical energies that I need to channel while crafting it are quite delicate. A sprinkling of Salus Mundus on mundane crafting table should solve that. The book has taught me the proper incantation to use, so it should be a simple matter. To keep myself on track, I will make a list of all the requirements that need to be met on the first page of each new entry. So we need some more Salus Mundus. And we're going to need some crafting table things. Oh, types of knowledge. Observations or notes. Observations and theories. Yeah, so this is Thomcraft version 6, which is very different from the one that I used to know how to do, which was 4, I think. I'm not sure if I ever did 5. I think 5 was like 110. But most of my... My experience is with 1710 rather than 110. So this just kind of looks like a little bit of background. I'm not sure how useful it is. Comfortable workspace. So research tables, scribing tools. All right, well, fine. So let's make a crafting table. Let's make a couple of those, really. Let's make a one crafting table. And then we're going to need a... So, crafting table. And then we... We're going to sprinkle this magical dust all over it, watch it glow, and now we have an arcane workbench. Let's pick that up for the purposes of the quest. Let's put the ground back. Um, so now we need a cauldron and a crucible. So cauldron's pretty easy. And I do believe the crucible is actually Cauldron's picked up. Oh man, that that dirt is gonna drive me nuts. Uh, crucible. Which we just did. Cauldron. Salismundus. This is me right-clicking the daylights out of it. Alright. This is kind of one of the problems that we were... that I was just talking about as far as with Thomcraft. Um... So, arcane workbench at my table, require the use of V-crystals, finding the axiomatical focus, time I craft the thaumometer. 
All right, so gold and glass, and then maybe some crystals, I think. Gold. Oh, we're going to need a couple of these, I guess. Some glass. Uh, arcane workbench. So, crystals. One, two... Three, four, five, six. So red is the color that I don't have. So we'll check these in here. I wasn't actually sure that it would do that until I just did it. So there you go. Thermometer. Hey, it's a flaming zombie person. Apparently, I can't learn anything from him. So, apparently, you can scan stuff in your inventory. Alright, so that's that's handy. Um, oh my gosh, you guys are so picky. So one of the cool things about uh, <clears throat> about uh, Thumbcraft now is you can scan lots of stuff and get all sorts of cool little things. Now that's not really much different from the way that it was, but now one of the options is you can scan an inventory. That's weird. Okay, let's go. Yeah, theoretically, you can scan an inventory and it should scan everything in an inventory. So if I do this. Uh, there it is. Give me my thing. Okay, I kind of thought that it would scan everything in the inventory, but apparently it is not. So, I'm pretty much going to be scanning a million things at this point, and that's that's kind of my my plan. I'm not sure. Uh, uh, 
I'm not sure uh, if there's a yeah so it's not gonna let me uh, scan the entire inventory at once <coughs> So this is going to be super grindy, guys, and you won't have to watch most of it. So I am going to go ahead and let you guys go. And I guess if you liked it, leave a like. If you don't, don't. Simple as that. Questions, comments, concerns can all go below. Um, I hope you guys have a great night.